France 24's correspondent Sam Bradpiece has been following this story for us in the run-up to the October 31 vote. This is the third episode in his series of special reports. Corogo is Ivory Coast's big northern city, some 200 kilometres away from the border with Mali and neighbouring Burkina Faso. It's the fourth most populated city in the country and capital of the country's Sinopo people. Corogo is known for its art, sculptures, paintings and traditional weave works. The city is also home to the Pelefero Gong Koulibaly Museum, named after an ancestor of the late Prime Minister Amadou Gong Koulibaly, who had been chosen to run as the successor to the president before dying suddenly of a heart attack in July. Korogo is still a poor town, but has seen significant investment since the end of the 2010-2011 post-electoral crisis. So we're here with Madiara Koulibaly, who runs a market stall here in Korogo. Uh, Madiara, can you tell me, how is it going for you here? Yes, before the crisis, it was better. But after the crisis, we were fatigued, a little bit fatigued, but it started to go. And so can you tell us a little bit more as well about what you're hoping for after this presidential election? We want a serious, hard-working president. Someone who will bring peace to Ivory Coast. We want the elections to happen smoothly in the best conditions possible, with no problems. Ivory Coast suffered its first terrorist incident since the attack in Grand Bassam in 2016. A group, presumed to be jihadist, attacked a border post less than 200 kilometres to the east of here, killing a dozen people. As governments in neighbouring Burkina Faso and Mali have lost huge swathes of their territory to terror groups, one of the main challenges for the next Ivorian government, the next Ivorian president, will be to prevent such terror groups establishing a firm foothold here in Ivory Coast.